Yeah. Oh, yes. There was a, a question. Somebody said they have GI issues with resveratrol. Mm. And it's actually a problem when, when manufacturers pull out resveratrol from Polygonum cuspidatum, which is not weed, uh, usually from China. There's another molecule uh, that causes gastric problems that comes along with it. And so if you experience any gastric problems, switch manufacturer, look for a company that has what's called GMP, good manufacturing practices, and try to go with a company that is reputable and has been around for a number of years. And uh, so, yeah, that can happen. It's called uh, Imodin, I think, is, is the chemical that comes across with it. So, yeah, just be aware that you're getting super pure supplements. That's part of the problem with the industry that it's not well regulated. And if there's any discomfort, yeah, switch brands. And that's even true for medicines. Yeah. Uh, in the case of metformin, my metformin was giving me discomfort. So I switched to a compound pharmacy, compound pharmacy that made it fresh for me. And it's been much better. Yeah, much, much better. Um, I think you'd mentioned in other talks before the color of the supplements. Resveratrol is often contaminated, even if it looks pure. So it should be light gray and powdery uh, or white. But even still, it can be contaminated. Um, the worst ones are the ones that come out brown. That resveratrol chemical chemically is not brown. And that's true also for other supplements. Um, I try to look for them that are the color that they should be. So for instance, if you go to Google or some other search engine and you type in a chemical, let's say physetin, okay? This, mm -hmm. It'll tell you what color it should be. It might say, yellow or bright orange. Yeah, it does. Uh -huh. So you should know that because yeah. if the capsule comes and it's filled with brown gunk, throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> so do your homework, you guys. It's not just what Dr. Sinclair said. It's also what Google says. So do your homework. It yeah. tells you what the color is. Um, and NMN and NAD are, should be pure white mm -hmm. uh, and NI. Oh, there's That's another thing. Mm -hmm. I'm often asked how should people store these molecules? So resveratrol I've kept for 10 years at room temperature, but it has to be kept in the dark. Um, for a week, it'll be fine, but no longer than that. So I store things in my basement, actually, 